Hello everyone, Wins here again with another guide. This is a part 2 for a trade macro as you can see right here. This is called a PoE trade helper. I use this to um, keep track of trades when I'm in lab or mapping and you could instantly invite players and kick them out of the party and also remind them of what the item is and how much it costs. So, okay, here we have an example right here. So I don't know if he still needs it, but I'm going to invite him to party by clicking party invite. You'll see that it says my hideout, 50 chaos for 185 chisel. You could also ask him to ask to wait if you're busy, or you could say you sold it. And when you say thank you, uh, it will say thanks for trade, and it will kick down the party. But it says too late. Okay, okay, no problem. So, so I'll show you how it looks like. See, thank you. The team for trade, not in party member, it will kick them out and then it, it will close the tab. So, I'll show you how it looks. So, first of all, when it's inactive, I put it no transparency because I don't want to see this ugly uh, square in my gameplay, right? So, I do this and then when somebody whispers me, it will be semi transparent like this. And then um, it will make sure I trade end of my map, end of my lab, so I can get rid of that square on the upper right corner. You don't need to put it there. You could make it into a window mode, and then you could drag it around any anywhere you want, like this here, here, onto your second monitor, or whatnot. Just that for me. When I put a second monitor, sometimes I forget about them and I have a lot of like trades that piled up and uh, I don't trade or I just forget to close the tabs and it gets a bit overwhelming. But aside from that, you could have some customization. For example, um, party invite. It will say, it will tell you exactly what it's doing. Buyer's name, buyer's trade, my hideout please. Um, thank you, shows that kick them out, buyer's name. And then here is a message that says thanks for trade and good luck. Uh, I put Wi Fi 5, but Wi Fi Y just because of typo. But I'm gonna keep it because it's pretty funny. And then same with all the other messages sold, asked to wait, like busy at the moment, let me know if you want to wait. So you could do all these. You could also center them around. Like if you do preview, you can see where these blocks are located. The uh, party invite is in the lower bottom for me, but if I don't like it, let's say party invite, I could make it into a center, middle, and uh, stuff like that, and then preview. So it's kind of a weird, right? Not too big. So yeah, basically you could just do that if you really want. There you go. So you could, so you could rearrange these. Um, your hockey could be changed too if you really want. You could have a hockey. If you don't use a lock bot for your hideout already. So that's basically it guys. That is basically how I use this macro. It's good for it is allowed by GGG. They eat the devs emailed it and they said they are usable. And this is what I use to um create and lab and mapping. I hope that was useful. Uh, this macro will be in part in the YouTube description. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.